Steroids have been a controversial topic ever since they were designed. In some industries, it would be weird not to take them. Arnold is the best bodybuilder of all time, with seven Mr. Olympia titles, and he has admitted himself to using steroids in the past. However, in other industries, steroid use can tarnish your entire reputation, and athletes will deny use even when they get caught. Whether you like them or not, they are used in countless industries and will likely be used in the future as well. In this video, I will go over a steroid that was used in the early 2000s that was nearly undetectable. Barry Bonds and Marion Jones are a couple of the athletes that were caught using steroids. However, before they were caught, they racked up some insane accolades. Marion won three gold medals and Barry Bonds broke the all-time home run record, beating out Hank Aaron. You may wonder how top-level athletes are able to bypass the strict regulations and testing from various organizations, and the answer to that question is through a designer drug. A designer drug is designed to copy a known drug. In this case, it would be other known steroids. The designer drug has very similar effects as the main drug, but avoids testing due to the slightly different chemical makeup. One of these drugs is called tetrahydrogestrinone, or THG for short. This drug was designed to be undetectable in drug tests by Patrick Arnold, who worked for Balco, which was posing as a supplement company, but was really producing steroids and other performance-enhancing drugs. THG was made after norbolethone and trenbolone, aka Tren, and is reportedly 10 times more effective than Tren. This is due to the drug's higher affinity for androgen receptors. Patrick Arnold himself stated that only a few drops taken orally were all that was needed since the steroid was that potent. What is even crazier is that the drug was undetectable in urine in under 7 days of non-use. How did they get caught? Well, that's what I was wondering. And it turns out a syringe was given to the United States Anti-Doping Agency, who was able to test the drug. Who turned it in, you may ask? Well, it was United States sprinting coach Trevor Graham. I would have never guessed it, but he was charged with lying about his involvement with the steroid distributors and was eventually convicted on one of three charges and was sentenced to a year of house arrest. It turns out that many of the athletes he coached tested positive for steroid use, and six of them were world champions. To make matters worse, a man testified saying that he provided Graham with steroids and other banned substances for multiple athletes. Stand-up guy for sure. The analysis of THG showed that it was derived from gestrinone by using mass spectrometry and NMR spectroscopy. The normal steroid urine screening did not work for the drug, so they designed a method for rapid screening. Whether we like them or not, steroids have crept into professional athletics and even the average Joe can get them for bodybuilding. They are easier to get than ever now, and it is believed that anabolic steroid use is the greatest cause for hypogonadism in men who are of reproductive age. Please leave a like if you learned anything in this video, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.